fiction. I'm Jen with the Travel Women, and today we're exploring B&H. Come on. Welcome to B&H. photo department of b &H. This is actually where I spend most of my time. Sometimes I beeline it right up here. I'm like, okay, I need a chip, I need this, whatever. And I'm really quick, I'm usually rushing. I, you know, run out of the store. But today we're gonna explore all around the store, all the different nooks and crannies to find the real secrets. Let's go. If you ever want peace and quiet in New York, come to the mic room at b &H. This place is like eerily quiet. It is so different. I'm not used to this in New York City, especially in Midtown Manhattan. This much quiet is crazy. Number two, there is a private broadcast apartment which houses some of the most expensive camera equipment in the store. This lens is $47,000. Oh my God, I can barely lift. It's very heavy. Wow. I just found out that this camera is $200,000 for this beauty. Crazy. So this is what real broadcasters actually use. A lot fancier than this camera, but you know, maybe one day. One day, I'll, I'll build my, I'll, I'll work my way up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carmen with B&H here at the 420 Superstore on 34th Street our price ranges vary drastically. So we have everything from the lowest scope, which is a 50 cent screw, to the highest realm, which is $250,000 camera setup. Also, fun fact, this ND filter is actually, this whole shade comes down, and on the other side, people think it is a mirror, it is just a shade that no one else can see through. However, it's fully see-through on this side, so please be careful. If you're walking by and you wanna fix or pick your nose, or do whatever you wanna do, people might be watching. Be careful. These candies are named Zazas. They are from Brazil. So they're a wonderful, tasty taffy that we get imported from Brazil. They're sour and sweet. surveillance section and this mannequin actually has seven hidden cameras. Kind of crazy. This button is a camera. And now we are in one of my favorite places right near the drone cage. Here you can actually see them fly the drones, learn all the differences between the Mavic Air versus the Mavic Pro, all of the different drones, and see it up close and personal in the store. Such a cool way to actually shop for drones while seeing them fly right in front of you. We have a conveyor system. Items are put into a basket from the warehouse and they're called up from our salespeople. So anytime that you're debating between two items, two lenses, two bags, there's actually a personal touch put to everything. So the salesperson writes down the code, it's called down from downstairs, a person goes and looks for those items for you, puts it in that basket and it shoots right back up. Um, so the conveyor belt goes from up here, which it's located down on the floor. On the first level, it's up above. All leads, all points lead to downstairs where the warehouse is. 
Everything's packed up and ready for you on your way out. In all, we have over 2,000 employees here at B&H. If you're familiar with the commercials, there's a Mr. B. However, there's actually no real Mr. B. It's a Mrs. B and Mr. H. Hi, I'm Daryl Ayer and welcome to the Use Department. This is the Harry Potter camera carried by Colin in a lot of the movies. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. The flash setting, so how far away you are, that's your f-stop that you would have to be to get something properly exposed. So the closer you get, the more you have to close down because of how much brighter the flash is. While traveling and you want your hands free, try this camera. Check it out. It also functions as a necklace. <laughs> so tiny. This is a Rolly 16 and it takes 16 millimeter film. Um, they don't make the film anymore so it's just a fun museum piece at this point. This little pop-up viewfinder here which if I pull that out you can look through and see what you're you're seeing on it right and then on the top is your distance scale but without any way of looking through it to be able to see what your distance is they include it on the uh, leash here. If you go into this um, it actually has the distance scale built into the leash, so when you get close, if you look really close, you have little distances on there so you know how close something is to take its picture. So if you were trying to take a picture of something and you wanted to see how far away it was, that's included right into it, so it's super neat. Take your picture! <laughs> This guy's pretty neat because it's like a very simple older camera. Um, if I remember correctly, it's just like a little mechanical lever to open it up in the back. A little pressure plate here to hold the film is kind of cool. And then this is its original film canister inside of there. So you take the film and then roll it up in there. And it's it's a neat little plastic camera. I don't know if I can get the shutter low enough that you can actually see it take a picture through the through the lens. It was uh, that's kind of one of the neatest things that I have in here. And it's also really neat because underneath this leatherette, this isn't metal or anything. It's actually all wood, which is like a statement of its time. Is uh, if you take a look on the back. There's a little hole here, and what you would do is you would open this up, and then with a special pen write on it. It was called the uh, Kodak Autographic. So that's kind of a cool little guy that you can have. It's a wrap. I'm Jen with the Travel Women. Thank you so much for watching this video on the top secrets of B&H here in New York City. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss any future video. And as always, say yes to new adventures and we'll see you next time. Bye.